Now, if you haven't been watching my my videos on my channel, right now I'm in the process. I just took out carpet and the pad and the tack strip. I've cleaned off the baseboard. And I want to float out this floor. I'm thinking about floating out this floor with this uh, material. I've got Henry's Unipro Universal Patch and Skim Coat. It's kind of like a feather edge material. But before I do that, I looked at this tile and it started popping off. Very simple. And now I've got this black tar deal to work with. And my experience has been down the road that usually when you see a black tar substance like this, usually the tiles that are installed over the black tar are VAT tiles. That means vinyl asbestos tiles. Nowadays they don't sell that. They make VCT, vinyl composite, composite tiles, VCT. Okay. But usually my experience has been that on vinyl asbestos tiles, they're a little bit smaller tiles than this. These are 12 by 12. They're a little bit thicker than these. These are very thin. And usually they're stuck down to where you start scraping a floor. And if they come up in small little chunks, boop, 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 and you smell it, it has a definite defining smell, you will probably know it, whether or not you have asbestos tiles. Now these tiles don't have any smell at all. These are fairly old tiles and I was kind of hesitant about taking them up off the floor. And I had this floor leak here, right here. This is an air conditioner in here. If you've been watching my videos on this project, just bear in mind, sometimes it's worth listening to certain things I say twice to get it through your head on what's going on. So I'm not going to feel too bad about telling you a second time here. Okay, we had, this was wet. These tiles came up nice and easy. Well, what on VCT flooring, like I say, the tiles, uh, or VAT, vinyl asbestos tiles, they come up generally very hard and difficult to do. But I'm going to show you on this floor here how these came up. I've got just a little three inch throwaway putty knife here, sheetrock knife. And it's just going underneath there. Like that. I should have my gloves on. See there? Usually vinyl asbestos tiles do not come up that easily. We were talking to somebody at the hardware store too and they said lots of times in, in most vinyl asbestos tiles you can see little white lines in here almost like little strings and if you snap this off you should see it in there. Okay, You don't see anything in there. You can smell that. That does not have any definite smell at all. If it smelled very, you know, uh, I don't know what you would, what it would smell like, but um, what else you would know for it to smell like, but uh, it has a definite awful smell to it. Okay, so because this is coming up, I don't really, I'm not too concerned about this being vinyl asbestos tiles. Now, if you have any question, any home that's built before 1977 and at the hardware store they said 1968 so I'm getting conflicting reports on that but I've been told 1977 or a house older than that built before that you could possibly have vinyl asbestos tiles in your house underneath your carpet or on your floor and if you pull it up and the t and the flooring looks like this that could be vinyl asbestos tile but that's why I'm kind of going over these different things to you. Um, if you want, you could, if you could pull up a tile, you could take a little sample to a, uh, to a, uh, a, a company that does testing for, for asbestos. If you buy a house, let's say, before you think about buying a house, or if you're concerned before you're doing a remodel, you could have, you could have someone come out and take a test and they'll take a test of your carpet, your carpet glue, your tile that's underneath the floor, the mastic that's down on the floor, 
I'll take a, top, a sample of your sheetrock uh, on, your, on your wall because years ago they used asbestos in all the sheetrock mud. Did you know that? Yes. And so you can take a test of that. They could also take a test, like see this, this ceiling is a popcorn ceiling. You see that up there? They could take a little bit of that and test that. You know, you could test uh, the roofing material. If you have uh, uh, rolled roofing or, or um, as, uh, uh, you know, asphalt shingles, let's say, anything like that. They'll, they'll do a study on the entire house for if you want. It might, might cost you $2,500 to do that and they'll send you a report. And, it, you know, if it's a huge project, a huge uh, property, maybe you want to do all that and spend that money first before you even uh, close escrow, let's say. And then whatever you find, maybe that's going to uh, cause you to reduce your, your price, your, your offer on the house, or maybe you walk away from that house because you know it's going to be too much work to remove all the asbestos. Because if this tile was asbestos, and if you had to have somebody come in here and abate it, this could cost thousands upon thousands of dollars depending how much floor you have to do because then they would probably take a test of your flooring, your, your, your glue there, and then they'd have to bag off the whole rooms and then they'd go into a transition area where they would have to change their clothes into like spacesuit material. Then they have to monitor the air after that for X amount of hours, 24 or 48 hours afterwards and take samples of the air two or three times before they call your, your place good and clean and stuff. So see, there's lots of things to think about when you get ready to do a remodel project. And that's what I'm, I'm right in the middle of, of wanting to float out this floor. And that's why I was going to use this floating material right here to float out the, this floor. But now I'm deciding that I think the best thing for me to do is I've made the determination that I feel very comfortable in my assumption that this floor tile is not asbestos tile because it came up so easily. Usually, it's been my experience, they never come up that easy. And these tiles could be, should be just regular vinyl composite, composite tile, okay, VCT or another, you know, something like that from years ago. See how, see how thin it is? I mean, we're talking very thin. It's not even an eighth inch thick. Maybe three thirty seconds or, or something like that. Or maybe even less than that. Okay, so back to my project. You know, I might not even use this. Okay, so uh, before I decide on that, I've got to get in here. I guess that's my next, my next step is to try to clean off some of this floor. See how hard it's going to be to remove this before I make the decision to install that underlayment.